Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, <laughs> we're gonna be using one of my favorite protective styles and that is using a U-part wig. You are new here. First off, welcome. All my old time subjects and congregation, the Rain Gang, Happy Curl Gang. Welcome back for another video. So, if you do not know, I do not like to wear other people's hair. Wow. Well. Anyway, but I will say, I have stuck with her giving hair for a number of, man, has it been years? I don't know. But I've been working with her giving hair for a while because I stand by them. Y'all know I don't just work for anybody, okay? I want to thank her giving hair for sponsoring this video because we know that you get a coin with that. I so like it. All right. So I have not cut the lace just yet. So this has two clips where you would place it for your U part. You can get a side part or a middle. I always usually get middle. Then you have the combs on the side, and then of course you have the back comb, and then the adjustable straps if need be. I noticed that I use my adjustable straps with U part wigs because they tend to be a little big on me. So her giving hair always takes a time out to give you weight instructions one-on-one, -on -one, okay? I've seen her on Instagram, Miss Naturally Mary, I think. I love that the pictures you know, are very informative um, and just shows you exactly how to take care of your unit. These wigs are a little bit more expensive. But the only reason that I work with them and bring it to you guys because they offer really, really good quality. Their stuff lasts, especially to take care of it. I'll be honest, I don't really take care of my units and stuff like that because I don't wear them often at all. But even with that, just water and conditioner will bring them back to life. So just imagine if you take care of it. So now we got that out the way. So the length is 18 inches, which is about 240 grams. The texture is a 3B, 3C, so I'm about a 3C texture. And the cap size is a small. So what we're gonna do is, I am not braiding my hair or anything. This was from my previous video. I can take some hair. So you wanna take a good amount that's going to cover your tracks. And I'm not a wig wearer, so that I always try to make these videos for women who are like me, who really aren't like savvy with wigs, but will try one, maybe have a few in the closet and drawer. Place it like two. It's better to have braids. They don't snap. They just literally just, it's just a comb. So you just want to be mindful of that. So yeah, it's not going nowhere. So how hair looks straight off the bat, okay? So I'm gonna be using the Don't Shrink by Aunt Jackie. It's one of my favorite gels. So just like your normal hair, you definitely want to work in sections. Once you brush it out, the curls just become, oh, and you see how easy it is. I have not, you know, detangled, not washed, none of that stuff. And the brush just glides right on through. No tangles. And the curl pattern is so pretty. <laughs> Shedding that I did get from that section, from this section. Obviously this is the side that has the product in it and that's wet and has been brushed through. And this is how it will come just without any type of manipulation. So we're gonna go ahead and finish the other side. So this is how my hair is looking. I love how it feels. You know, I don't really deal with a lot of tangles in my own hair. So I refuse to be going back and forth with somebody else's tresses. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. So we had about this much shedding on this one side which really isn't too shabby so now we're moving on to my actual hair now I'm just gonna be honest with y'all I don't make the effort to really blend my hair yeah, let me take some. and I probably should so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all what I do because I'm lazy and I ain't got time okay 
So I'm gonna switch out and take my wet line trim gel for my actual hair. It's just, you know, y'all know it's my favorite. So I'm gonna take gel on my hair. Now mind you, my hair is jet black and this hair is like a 1B. Now as you can see, my hair really ain't blended. You ain't gotta be worried about that, okay? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Not right now. Don't worry about it just yet. Just go ahead and just do how you normally would. Another thing that works is taking a piece of the hair and tangling and smoothing, excuse you, tangling and smoothing the hair together. And when it dries, you'll be able to see a difference, at least I can. What I typically do, like 99% of the time, is I put it behind my ears, like so. Okay, we're not done, we're not done. So I'll take my hair and then and then I just like lightly kind of twist. By doing that you can't even tell, especially when it dries, like that is twisted with my hair. So the type of combs that come with this wig, I would definitely have braids to make it more secure. I know it's like with my hair being back in the point, so it doesn't really have anything really to grab onto. I do recommend that you do braid at least right here to keep it really secure. That's the only like kind I would say. I definitely love the feel of it. It's always very soft. There's no like harsh chemical smell to it. Nobody know I got a bun. Nobody know that. Okay. You don't know. Also, before I forget, if you go to Her Giving Hair's website, they're having where you can share your horror stories, horror hair stories on the website. They're picking winners and you can win prizes. They're also having a sale up until June 14th. So be sure to check that out on their website. All right, y'all. So this is how my hair looks. It's been like a good 45 minutes to an hour. So it dries pretty fast. Like my hair blends in pretty okay. Like not perfection. But then when you think about curls really aren't all perfect, you know. But it's very, very, very full. Wish I would have dyed it jet black. But like I said, there's no crunch. Nothing like that. It feels really good. Nice, Trey. This is good hair. It's, it's real good hair. And it don't even shade up in your hands. Yeah, because that's inverse. It is. It's not extremely light, but it's not extremely heavy. And I did not shape it or anything. So I just like that it's just, it comes like with this kind of like pre-shaped, you know, how your hair would naturally be. Like it's blended the best like that I can blend my hair. I really like how this looks. This is when I use my dimming brush to kind of create the curls like I would do on my own hair. I'm about to go out, okay? <laughs> okay. Every time I try on somebody else's hair, I be thinking I'm Kendra and Kelsey's. Big sister, Kaylee, Kana, you know. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you were entertained. I hope you learned something. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.